بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لیٹس ٹاک اباؤٹ سم آف دا ایگزامپلس آف سیمیو کیمیکل ایجنٹس وی ٹاک ان دا پریویس لیسن دیٹ دیز آر بایولوجیکلی ڈیرائیوڈ ایجنٹس بیسیکلی دیز آر فیرامونس موسٹلی اینڈ دوز کین بی یوز ٹو کنٹرول دا انسیکٹس اینڈ پیسٹ دیٹ ورک اگینسٹ کراپس دے ڈسٹروائے دا کراپس سو وی کین یوز دس فیرامونس ٹو کنورٹ ٹو کنٹرول دیز پیسٹ نیچرلی اینڈ وی کین آلسو ڈسٹروائے دیز پیسٹ وی کین کیپچر دیز پیسٹ اور وی کین انٹروڈیوس سرٹن پریڈیٹرس آف دیز پیسٹ Uh, to control these pests indirectly now uh, obviously uh, crops worldwide they suffer a lot of damage due to different insects and pests uh, which feed on these crops so examples here are being quoted of north america so in north america brown bugs uh, those are penta uh, pentatomid insects and these cause a lot of problem against a uh, lot of crops in north america Uh, so uh, what they do is that they arrive late in the growing season and often cause major harm before detection so jab tak ye detect hote hain wahan pe tab tak ye apna jo hai kaam wo kar chuke hote hain crop ko kafi had tak ye destroy kar chuke hote hain so scientists try to find out a biological way to control these uh, problems these bugs a major part of biocontrol involves a thorough understanding of their migration pattern and a pheromone called methyl 2e 4z ڈیکاڈایونیٹ سو اگین کیا کیا انہوں نے انہوں نے پہلے انڈرسٹینڈ کیا کہ کیا ان کی بایولوجی ہے ان سب انسیکٹس کی کس طرح سے آتے ہیں کہاں سے آتے ہیں کیسے مائگریٹ کرتے ہیں ان کا لائف سائیکل کیا ہے اینڈ دین دے ٹرائی ٹو فائنڈ آؤٹ وچ فرم آن دے ورک اگینسٹ اور ٹو وچ دے آر اٹریکٹیڈ سو ونس دے فاؤنڈ آؤٹ سچ اے فرم آن دے کوڈ بی تھری اسٹریٹجیز فرسٹ کیا ہے to capture and eliminate the pest so uh, what they can do is that they can use the pheromone they can uh, they can divert the uh, problem the insect away from the crop and uh, once they have diverted it to some other location they can trap and capture uh, the insect secondly to harvest predatory bugs for bio augmentation in ke against jo bugs kaam karti hain ke against jo species kaam karti hain unko hi capture kar sakte hain using uh, the pheromones again and then they can uh, uh, introduce the captured predators uh, to the insects uh, to destroy the insects third obviously third jo field isme hai wo ye hai ki we want to uh, discover more and more pheromones as well so you can see here uh, bahut bada ek uh, uh, bahut badi field hai biotechnology mein jisme pheromones ko use kiya ja raha hai uh, to kill insects to kill pests and to divert them away from the crops so that they cannot damage the crop and the yield of the crop uh, is enhanced so here we have example of siberian moth so it is a vigorously defoliating pest of north asian con- uh, coniferous for- forest so you can see here defoliate kar deta hai aur isse jo hai plant jo hai uh, that is damaged a lot so in an attempt to provide a first line of defense against this potential threat in north america it was suggested that a blend of uh, z5 e7 Uh, dodecadenol and Z5 E7 dodecadenol be deployed at US ports of entry so yahan pe kya kiya unhone ke ye jo bug hai ye jo insect hai ye pehle wahan paaya nahi tha jata lekin chances the ki wahan pe ye enter ho sakta hai so what they suggested was ke iske liye jo pheromone useful hai usko hum jo entry points hai jahan se ye enter ho sakta hai us territory mein wahan pe hum introduce kar de so that it remains away from there Uh, on the other hand uh, they also suggested that certain predatory bugs can be captured the same way and those bugs can be introduced at the same entry port as well so kya kiya unhone inhone already start kar di pheromones ko use karna to control the entry of that uh, insect in the in that territory isse fayda kya hoga instead of waiting uh, for the attack of that bug they actually started taking preemptive measures so that they can uh, just control the problem before it arises but this approach is not always successful we can uh, not always use pheromones to control such problems humne pehle bhi baat ki thi first of all biotechnology is not the only solution second uh, in biotechnology if uh, one solution is applicable at uh, one condition it is not always necessary that it could be applied to other conditions as well other scenarios as well every scenario every case has different parameters has different biology has different uh, set of conditions uh, so we have to check uh, which strategy would be best for certain condition and certain location you can see here in this case uh, of another pentatomid uh, 
this approach failed actually the use of this approach to biological control failed so alternate method was used wo kya tha genetic engineering of his gut symbiont to produce a reduced tolerance of environmental stress we know symbionts are found in gut of uh, so many different living organisms so uh, the symbiont that was found uh, in this uh, bug they actually engineered that symbiont to wo jo symbiont engineer kiya ab jo engineer symbiont tha wo itna tolerant nahi tha towards the environmental conditions so now the bug is weak because us symbiont jo hai that is not that much tolerant to the environmental conditions so indirectly uh they try to control the population of this bug so genetic engineering is there as well so jo usme symbiont unko mila tha that was a gram negative bacterium called yokinella species so you can see here there are so many different ways and means by which different biological agents can be used to control different problems if one agent is not working we can always look for some other biological agent we can try the whole living organisms or the uh, products of living organisms and we can achieve that i'll see you in next lessons